and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Rally. This is a pretty interesting looking donation deck. This deck is going to be all about rallying and we will be using both of our champions in our deck to rally. So we have our three Katarinas that of course whenever you strike with Katarina goes back into your hand and you get to level up and then every time you play a leveled up Katarina you get to rally. We have three Relentless Pursuits to rally. We have our other champion of Garen, which once Garen levels up, then the round start, you get to rally. And then we also even have two Shunpos, deal two to an enemy, and then rally. And if that's not enough, we even have a Tiana Crown Guard at the top end to be able to rally. So we're going to be attacking a bunch. So how can we get rewarded for attacking a bunch? Well, we got two cards. We got Vanguard First Blade. Each time that it attacks, it gets a permanent plus two, plus two buff. So if you can attack with the first blade, it will turn into a 4-4, four, four, and if you can keep it alive, then you keep attacking, and each time it will get plus 2, plus 2. And then our Battering Ram, that each time it attacks, it starts as an 0-12, each time it attacks it gets the permanent plus 4, plus 0 buff. So those are our two cards uh, that really reward us for attacking a whole bunch, and then we're going to be rallying and attacking a whole lot. This honestly uh, may be... Um, this honestly may be a little bit better as a meme tier deck, to be honest, than a deck in ranked. We're going to go try it in ranked to start with, but this is pretty meme tier -y of just going with all of the rally cards. Um, and so maybe it'd be a little bit better in normal where we can show it off more. Let's try a couple in ranked first, though. We'll just give it a try. Hopefully it will uh, do good. Awesome, James. Yeah, that's the YouTube channel over there. I put I put all the replays of all four decks up there on YouTube um, we have, or I put them up at, uh, 6 and 11 a.m. and p.m. every single day, Eastern time. Except for the video this morning went up, like, an hour late, because, uh, I accidentally scheduled it for p.m. instead of a.m. So our first match is... Sedwani Gangplank. Well, we got Sithrio, we got War Chefs. I like that. I like that. Katarina's, as I've talked about for a long time, Katarina's not really a great turn three play, but I think in our deck, it's probably what we got for our turn three play. It's a better turn three play than Relentless Pursuit, that is for sure. So we'll keep Katarina. We're gonna have all the attacks. Hmm. Feels like this is probably going to be a petty officer. A parlay there? I mean, I can just pump it up and just get rid of that parlay. So that was just a waste of a parlay. Cool. They'll never know what killed them. Huh. This has been a little strange. I guess I'm still just playing Katarina. <laughs> kind of better than these other cards. They're already down to seven. Let's definitely get Garen in play. Dead men tell my tale. I honestly don't really want to trade Garen and Gangplank. Cool, we got our first strike. Right there.
So I'm thinking having Fleet Feather Tracker challenge the Gangplank. Well, this is a surprise. Not now. You'll fight or you'll swim. Round them up. I'm thinking about not playing Katarina, to be honest. Or not attacking with Katarina. Justice waits for no one. Puts it back in my hand. To the point. Oh, I guess we attack with it. Okay, that could be useful. This is going to be difficult. Difficult not having my Garen trade. So I can I could single combat, have my Katarina single combat the gangplank. Which would then mean that like their 3-3 three, three blocks my Garen, so we're basically trading single combat for all of those, but then they have the one damage spell. Does seem like we we just have too many rally effects, right? Like, <laughs> that's, that's really what it seems like. I guess I just trade Garen and Gangplank. I guess. So at least I'm not dead. Right? Down to two. Okay, never mind, I'm dead. That just means a powder monkey's gonna kill me. It's the problem with playing Katarina early, like this this game shows why. A deck like this, you can't just play Katarina early because we just spent, we just spent such so much mana on Katarina, and Katarina just doesn't really affect the board that much. But we just kept spending more and more mana on on Katarina. Um, they're at two. Rude. It is weird wording. This is not 
amazing, but... We have the attack token on the odd turns, so we're gonna have to like have the Vanguard first played as a blocker on turn four, then play the other one on turn five, and then we can attack with both of them. Um, if we had attack token on our even turns, it definitely would not have kept both of them. But again, that's that's me not really doing anything turn two or turn three against this fast aggro deck. That's not amazing. Our deck does have. It's got to have too many rally effects. It just has to. Like, <laughs> this is too many. Not enough units. Not enough things that affect the board. Not ideal. Get rid of three cards to get rid of one of theirs. The people are my strength. All right, I think I think we're gonna have to go take this over to normal, honestly. to maybe try to do some cool stuff. I don't know. All right, same matchup again. We are just staying, we did stay in ranked. Um, yeah, I think, I think a problem with our deck is that we, we do have like Katarina is like an eight mana card, not really like a three mana card. That's what I've said uh, plenty of times. But with our current deck, we have to play Katarina as a three mana card. I think which is not ideal. Not really where we want it to be. Nothing to fear. And so I think to, to fix that, basically we need need a little bit, a, couple, a few more bodies in the few, first few turns and like another body on turn three to play. I guess we do have Iron Ballista in here. That's true, we do have Iron Ballista. To the base. No one goes hungry! Ready. I'm basically trying to keep them from going wide. We're going to have Katarina next turn with the Blade's Edge. They can take down something. I could even block with Katarina. Okay, no, they're not giving us that opportunity. Boom. But as we saw last game with crowd favorites, we need to keep this board pretty clear. No going back. That's a good call that this could be, our deck could be built to fight Aurelian Soul and Ramp decks. Because yeah, we always do have to be ahead. They 
And so playing this against against a ramp strategy that's slower. My true beauty. I could see this doing well there. Which we have been facing a lot of. You know, we've been seeing those kind of decks quite a bit. Just not in these few rounds. But it is really difficult to stabilize whenever your card keeps on um, returning to you. I don't know what you mean, Adam. I don't know. But our deck does seem like a pretty good like turn ten deck. Whenever you have like these things out there that can that can continue to attack. Uh, I guess that's game. Don't see how I'm stopping that. Battering Ram doesn't work because they just challenge, or honestly, these things are all fearsome, so they don't even have to do. They don't even have to challenge. Yeah, they just challenge. Yeah, they just do that. Okay, so yeah, like this this deck doesn't work. If we okay, so how would we tweak this? Let's try changing some stuff and then try two more games. Let's let's try that. Let's try changing some stuff. So, you know, of course, this was, you know, a viewer submitted deck. Um, right. So we need more units. We need less rally and more units because we, we can't just always assume that we're going to be ahead. Um, honestly, with this deck, I would rely on Katarina to get you extra attacks. Guarantee on extra attacks. I really don't think that you need Relentless Pursuit and Shunpo also. Definitely don't think you need those things. Um, if we need other units, and if we are attacking a bunch, Legion Marauder is a good one. I'm surprised that I, I, I am kind of surprised that just Iron Bliss is in here over Legion Marauder just anyway. How do we block though? Would it? I mean, I guess the best way to make this deck would be with with challengers right i guess it would be better with like protege um i would assume purifies for they who endure that's that's why that's why i assume there's a purify in here um I mean, honestly, the best thing to do is play a lot more demacia cards radiant guardian seems like an, a necessity right if we're going to be if we're gonna like one our Katarinas and our rallies and stuff, so that means we're behind. We need more defense, as you saw those games. Like we just need more defense, just flat out need more defense. So maybe like that's like the main thing is that we just need need Radiant Guardian in here. No, I mean there's not card draw these regions. We don't need that. Concerted Strike also amazing spell. So that's just basically changing the the rally cards to be concerted strike and radiant guardian and then just putting legion marauder in here because that's good with attacking a bunch um honestly look protege would be better than marauder so we should probably just play protege um I know that's just doing like the regular Debasia thing. So like if if we want to do like 
playing protege and then playing like uh grizzled ranger like grizzled ranger is going to be probably better than first play but you know like basically we could play like that kind of stuff but if we want to have like the cool rally cards let's just keep legion marauder vanguard first blade battering ram you know let's keep our good our cool rally cards to make this deck unique but um <laughs> basically just you know that's basically just turning this into demacia with uh you know just with katarina which is which is really not bad And we're going to play Repost instead of Might. I would rather have the Barrier than the Overwhelm. Because the main thing to Might for Overwhelm is, you know, like, Battering Ram's, like, the kind of the main thing. I guess there's Garen also. I guess you have Might with Garen. And Radiant Guardian. No, let's just keep, let's just keep Repost. Repost is great. Alright, let's try changing a few things. I, I hope the person that donated for the deck doesn't mind of changing a few things. We're going to try to get some wins. Um, but, but probably playing the 2-4 Challenger would be better than Marauders and Grizzled Ranger over the other 4-drop and Genevieve Elmhart over Battering Ram. Like, Katarina's good. I think you can play just basically play all the good Demacia cards and Curve and then play Katarina, and I think that can actually be a, a pretty good deck. But if we want to have it a little bit more on the rally side. Let's, uh, let's try this out. New recruit reporting in. So I kind of feel like they're going to play like a, a two drop that I don't really want to trade the tracker with right away. Cool. Great save tracker. Or they play a one drop, sorry. One drop, not two drop, one drop. Um. Ye started without me. Perfect. That worked out really well. Ooh. Now we'll save this. Alright, so we get to get rid of the 3 3, but then the Petty Officer is a real good card that gets to kill my War Chefs. These are good trades, but they still have a couple of bodies in play. All right, playing Katarina, trading, trading. This might hurt. Basically playing Katarina so we get the Blade's Edge. We would be able to kill another thing. Love it. Love drawing that single combat. Who's ready for the show? Hmm. That hurts. That hurts very much. You wanted wrath. Any challenges? Be Demacia. That hurts. Keep up, keep up. I stand with the Dauntless Vanguard. We do what is right! Alright, so we saved that two life. And now, I'm a little surprised they didn't put that on the spray thin, honestly. That's where I would have gone if I were them. Our 
Mr. Bloodbath. Feel the sizzle! Justice by my hand. No one goes hungry. So they would be able to to block my war chefs anyway. Have them block the the vanguard. Obviously, we need to get the attacks in with the vanguard for it to really do much anyway. Now our Garen gets to level up. So now Garen's a six six all the time. So will not die. Jack. So we get to go to attacks immediately. That should just be on the powder keg. Powder keg dies anyway. They just killed their tutu for no reason. Welcome. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard, I'm Sithri. Trying to survive, we get to attack, then get to Tiana and attack again. But just all this nexus damage that they have probably won't matter for us. see us winning this one our deck is really built to face the slower control decks well that's that's just lethal with the other sleep of the fishes these fast aggro decks do have that ability to get underneath us that's why those radiant guardians are necessary yeah they dealt 11 damage to me also that jack the winner was amazing All right, let's try to pick up a win. Radiant Guardian's gonna be huge. Again, another damage-based deck my own story. that can get aggressive. Um, I'll do my best. Don't love Bright Steel Protector here with no challengers or anything. Obviously, it looks like they're going to be going make it rain. Oh, I love that ranger's resolve. That's good. My shield is yours. We'll save one of these if they're going to make it rain. But yeah, now we have the ranger's resolve. I need more That would, that would save one unit. Okay. Not too bad. couple of cards on us with petty officers app spray fin these things acting as multiple cards Does mean that my Radiant Guardian is not turned on, but I kind of feel like they were going to kill one of these things still. 
nothing left when I'm done. But maybe not. Not yet. They're just going Twisted Fate, clean up the board. You'll fight or you'll swim. Never fate. All right, Blades Edge can take down that Powder Keg. I need more or some of these one drops. Let's have some fun. This might help. Good. As you can tell, each one of these cards costs us one card. Lead Petty Officer. They're out of Petty Officers, though, right? Haven't they played? Yeah, they played all three. So they're going to be out of Petty Officers, but Petty Officer uh, does a great job of killing things. And two for wanting, so they have five cards. But we got just two left. They'll never know what kills. Yeah, just three more subs for that sub goal. Almost there. What's the best deck to climb to a diamond right now? I fight for the fallen. Was the question, and honestly, I just I don't really think. I mean, I think that answer is different for everybody. This this game. You can play aggro, you can play mid-range, you can play ramp control, you play play what you are comfortable with. Um, Mobilytics has a really good stats page if you want to check out the Mobilytics stats page for some some data there. That could maybe help make help you make your decision. Sure seems like they're trying to Riptide Rex me. Sure seems like they're trying to Riptide Rex me. It was the card they just drew. Oh, I didn't play the Katarina they knew about. I played a, a new Katarina. That's my fault. I needed to play the Katarina they knew about. Now they know that I have another Katarina. That's that's sloppy. They still kill that one. Let the blood shed begin. To the point. Yeah, maybe they didn't notice. Maybe. possible. Uh, three cards in hand cost 14 mana. Um, there are three currently. So I don't get to play Concerted Strike. You will be scoured! 
coward from this land. Counter attack. Karen or both. Okay, so the problem with like concerted strike with Katarina, of course, is whenever Katarina strikes, recall. Might as well do it in combat. Just kind of see how they, they want it to block. Wasn't necessarily going to play that, depending on what they had. They have to have Ravenous Flock to stay alive. Strike for justice. They gotta have Ra Ravenous Flock for the Radiant Guardian. And they do. So the game's not over yet. Hope burns on. For king and country. Didn't quite get to kill them. Vision to see what others <laughs> the wicked must fall. You dare oppose Noxus. All right, that thing's down to one. They have, they could have a removal spell for Garen and level up Swain. But then uh, Swain has to block Katarina. Well, this That's the case. Not now. If it's the death, if it's Death's Hand, that's the worst case scenario because Death's Hand will kill my Garen and stun my Katarina. So I was kind of hoping they would play something before I play the Katarina. I'm always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. Marcia will prevail. Quick. You're bluffing. I'm out. Our next turn is probably going to be looking pretty similar to this one. Ooh, battering ram. That's a difficult card to kill. Such little lies. I'm expecting Katarina to die here. Did get us that attack token. Be the yeah. I'd rather Katarina die than my battering ram, though. Because now what do they do? I got a block to stay alive. And then I get to go right to attackers again. I mean, I'm hoping the three mana can't do the five damage to kill this. We can't let them stun or anything like that or play another Riptide Rex or anything. Alright, that'll work. That's, that's quite good. So yeah, before whenever we play the Katarina, that, that was going to be really difficult for them to stay alive, but that's a way to do it. Riptide Rex. Um, plus both of those. That's a way to do it, I suppose. Alright, Garen checks Swain pretty well. Uh, 
Such little lives. That's game. I can't block this with the fearsome. They're so close. They just kept on having exactly what they needed. So close. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know, we tried it. We tried even with these things, but um, all right. If to make this to make this the most competitive, I would you know play protege over that. We would play. Of this we played Genevieve Elmhart and then got to get our four mana card of either Grizzled Ranger or Bannerman probably Grizzled Ranger with this deck or Grizzled Ranger and then got an extra card I don't know if you need three Katarina that's an option. I'd play a second Ranger's Resolve. I wouldn't play Purify. Um, and then basically looking at whatever th whatever other card want to play. We're at nine spells. Probably be looking at a spell, not a unit. Um, maybe a back-to-back. -back. That's always a great one. Could be another concerted strike if you really want to play might you could transfusion a cooling strike back to back is going to get expensive with katarina what what a spell that helps out katarina maybe you play that one might one might would have definitely helped us out that last game but it would have been over other cards that we didn't have. Something like that. I'd probably be going with, with these kind of cards. Um, it's not as cool. You don't get like your cool rally things. Um, but to try to make it competitive, that's where uh, I would go. Um, but we tried... We tried there with our, our Katarina rally deck, but it didn't didn't work out. Um, you know, as as we've talked about before, these these uh, tier one decks that you play against in ranked are really strong, and you gotta have a you know you gotta have a really strong deck or you know to be to fight them. And unfortunately, some of these other cards, like these rally cards, you have to be ahead, and we're you know, facing these aggro decks were just not going to be ahead, and so they were just dead cards. The um, the Vanguard first blade just this is not powerful enough for constructed, with just how how powerful the, the decks are in constructed right now. Um, this is just below the curve on the power level. It's too easy to kill for the four mana. It doesn't block whenever you play it. All sorts of stuff. It's just it's just not good enough compared to the other options. And honestly, the same thing with Battering Ram. Like, we didn't play against Hush, but, like, imagine, like, we're even trying to do Battering, battering Ram or Vanguard First Blade, and my opponent just plays Hush. Like, that's just a nightmare. Um. All right, but there we go. That's Katarina Rally. Um, hopefully this, this version works a little better. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.